What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X Viper TTV, and here once again, um, about Apex. So, I'm about to check this new update, and I'm not gonna go into everybody, but I'm gonna go into Wraith, cause that's who I main, and I just want to check to see what they've done with her, um. I've watched a few videos, basically, about her her attack, and it kind of looks kind of, um, kind of looks kind of slow. So we're about to check, and the best way for me to check is to check now for the right choice. in battle how it works. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut these on, and we're just going to see what happens. Jump drive in position. This time, we'll be different. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try a few things. I'm just gonna basically get into a gunfight and see what happens when I try to phase. Going to phase. Oh yeah, that'd get me killed. Can't do it in the open like that. Time is rap, shock, and rock. This time will be different. So we're gonna try that again. We're gonna try to figure out the best way to do this. I mean, it's a lot faster than her old phase. Ooh, I missed so many shots. So, I'm in a gunfight. I'd probably phase out about now. Yeah, that'll definitely get me killed. So, we gotta figure out a better way to do this. So, what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do here is we're gonna log out of this. And we're just gonna try it in the game and see what happens. We're gonna play a game real quick. Um, hopefully, you know, I don't have like a really bad landing. Hopefully, no one takes Wraith. I'm sure that no one's gonna take Wraith. She'll sure start it up, see how it goes. <laughs> Basically, what it's looking like to me is, yes, they've made her a lot faster in her phase. But it's also looking like it just takes forever to actually get your phase to initiate. That, to me, was always the biggest problem with Wraith was not her speed of her phase, but more so initiating her phase. Um, that's always what I thought has been her problem. I always thought they should make it instantaneous, but hopefully it's balanced out. I feel like it's a nerf. Everyone that I've talked to says it's a buff. I don't know if they really play Wraith like that, but we're going to figure this out. We'll start it up see what happens. We'll win this thing together. Semper Fi or die. Pick the right way and go. Best way to do is try it in battle. See what happens. This is also my first game on, so please don't judge this gameplay. Introducing your champion. Just want to give a shout out to all my fans watching. I love you. I'm the jump master. Mm -hmm. This time. Let's make a choice. Land here. Here we go. Ready up. Heard that. I'm thinking what I'm going to have to do is, is I'm going to have to anticipate the phase a lot sooner. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yep, it's definitely not 
It's definitely not what it used to be. I would have been able to get out of that. It's definitely nowhere near what it used to be. As you can see, like I instantly died. As soon as I went to go phase, it was instant death. I'm pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. Yep. It's going to be a learning curve. Um, it's definitely going to be something I'm going to have to figure out. Uh, because at that point, normally with Wraith, I'd have been able to get out of that situation almost right away. So we're going to see what happens. We're definitely going to see what happens. Um, and it's not that we're going to stop using Wraith. We just got to figure out the best way to use her now. Which I don't understand. And this is what I don't get with the devs. I don't get with the devs why they would decide to change the way this character is being played from five plus seasons. Like, five plus seasons, and now we're changing the way this character is played. Anyone want to take me out? Come find me. I'll buy the drinks. I'm the jump master this time. I don't feel like it's a nerf on the on the character. I feel like it's a nerf on the community of players who play with Ray. Dropping in. Hang on. Drop, shock, and rock. Oh, that was a bad grenade. Oh, he left? I was gonna go get him. Alright, so now I don't have to worry about him. I mean, I don't care. He left? Like, <laughs> it happens. Alright, so I haven't really had a situation I've had a phase yet. People coming out of the butthole. Where are they gone? Oh, I went the wrong... 
fucking way. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was going towards Hydra. That was right over here. I should have known that he landed right there. Thirty seconds until close. Oh, come on, I had to reload. Well, as you can see, what I'm thinking that portal is going to be used for is to actually get through different places. Not the portal, but the phase walk. It's going to be used to get to places quicker. It's going to be used to catch cover quicker. If you use it for gunfights now, it's probably going to be obsolete. Like, it would have been no sense for me to even try it. You could hear when the other Wraith that I came down there, when he faced up, if I'd have actually aimed at him, I probably would have killed him right there. Um, so, all I can say is, is, it's a nerf and a buff at the same time. I think more so on the nerf side, just because of what Wraith as a character was and Wraith of a character is, um, so I honestly think that it's going to be a little bit of a learning curve and having to retrain yourself if you've played Wraith. If you're a new Wraith character, then it is what it is. It's a learning curve anyway. But I think it's going to be more of a learning curve for the people who have been playing Wraith, trying to figure out now how to change their game style because Wraith is a very aggressive character and you can use her to be very aggressive. I think you can still use her to be aggressive, but you cannot rely on the fact that you can phase walk back out. Um, so honestly, I think it's more so on the nerf side as far as the character she is. So that's my video based on it. I'm gonna learn more. I'm gonna be streaming about it. I'm gonna be learning about it. I'm gonna be figuring this out and I'm gonna figure out the best way to use this character now. Um, because I don't want to give up on her. I don't like the devs trying to force us to switch characters and force us to use different characters just because her win rate and her pick rate is high. Makes no sense to me. Oh, we're going to nerf this character because her win rate is high. Isn't that a good thing? Why don't you buff the other characters to match her? Instead of nerfing her and then buffing and then making it like a complete opposite shit show. Now... If you buff two character, or another character, they're gonna win rate's gonna go up, and then if their win rate goes up, you're gonna nerf them back because their win rate's higher. Doesn't make sense. Put in the comments below what you guys think. Let me know. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you think it's a, a nerf. Let me know if you think it's a buff. Um, and hey, see you guys next stream. I stream every day, Monday through Sunday, 9 p.m. to about 2 a.m. now. So make sure you come check it out. Thanks. See you guys then.